What's going on, guys? We got Jackalation. What's up, peeps? We got Brian. And today, I don't know if you see this. So this is, uh, ironically, this is a third brake light out of a Ford F350. I think like 99 to 16 or something. Like it's a strange, like long gear uh, list. But I liked it because it was cool. It was tinted, and it has one cool, unique feature. So I can't remember which lights, but the center lights are a third brake light or the outer lights are a third brake light and revert. Uh, it also has like a white bed lights. I think these are the white bed lights. I think the outside ones are. So it has white bed lights. Well, this truck doesn't have reverse light whatsoever and um, people are dumb, especially a lot of drivers. So I like to be able to indicate that I'm backing up. So instead of wiring this to be a bed light, this is going to get wired to be a backup light. And it's going to go right here. And I think it fits the theme. And ironically, even looking at it right here, it almost perfectly fits the curve as well. How did I do this? I don't know. Brian? Eh, gotta get lucky once in a while. Did I channel my inner Brian on figuring this out? You might have. <laughs> nice. My, my pad one. Yeah, yeah, pad one, just looking at something like, yep, yeah, that'll, that'll work. <laughs> but yeah, so we're going to work on that today. Get this installed in, because um, I want to have all the hole cuts before we start trying to paint, because trying to do this after it's already painted, not going to be fun. So hole cuts, wires, everything. Yeah, that's going to be done. And oh, I want to talk about um, down in the uh, comment, uh, in the description, sorry. Uh, I did manage to go through and pull together all of the parts and tools that, not parts, uh, but all the tools that we use in the garage that helped out for these builds. So um, yes, it is an Amazon affiliate link, but um, it would help, uh, help me out as well. And if you see something that we're using and stuff like that, um, I have a full comprehensive list of everything. So um, click on the links, support the channel. I uh, appreciate it. And I apologize for this last uh, couple of weeks videos. It's been kind of sparse. Like I've been only doing one video a week when we've been really consistently doing like two or three videos a week, haven't we, Brian? Yeah, I think so. Um, I was in Tampa last week and well, Actually, the last video that you guys saw, uh, I had just got back from Tampa when I edited that. So yeah, I was on vacation and now <laughs> Brian's working with me today and then he's going on vacation. Yep, going down to play golf with the old man. So, sorry guys, I've been traveling. I've been traveling, he's been traveling and there will be some changes coming to the channel. Um, I'll talk about that uh, a little later and there's some major vehicle restructuring happening and i'll do a separate video on that so just give you guys a up. but yeah so we're gonna get this third brake light set up all right welcome back people so cool thing that you see brian and i just did we created because this body's all curves and everything there's no really flat easy way to do this so what we kind of did was we found the middle point here in the front by visually and measuring and yeah just kind of creative <laughs> and then got the string to pretty much the middle point right here because these crossbars are right in the middle anchored coming up and got a string and now we've double checked with measure some measurements that we can get and with our eyes calibrated eyeball right here so now we have kind of the center point. Now the fun time. Time to start doing an outline and drilling and figuring this out.
All right, welcome back, guys. Brian? What's up, peeps? What did I do? Uh, I drilled a hole off centered. Yeah. It looks great, though. <laughs> so, because I drilled a hole about an eighth of an inch off center, we can't do rib nuts anymore. <laughs> it happens, Captain. But all I need to do is get some longer screws and we're just gonna do nut and I have to go grab we have to go grab nuts anyways for it. So maybe some washers and we can actually finish this. But if you see it has a little bit of gap on the bottom, but the top is perfect. And this is something that um I completely forgot to account for after we started drilling and cutting. So we're gonna make this work no matter what. <laughs> but as you see right here, there's a roll bar there. So it kind of touches the roll bar. Not a big deal. <clears throat> we have a saws We can fix that roll bar. Hey, nope, no, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> You'll have a convertible. <laughs> but what idea that we actually came up with is that's well within the gap that, uh, seam sealer and a proper cure time can handle so we're going to do all the body work on this when it's time to go in here just tape around it and just seam seal the crap out of it and it'll look like no one will ever notice but man i don't think i've seen anybody with the trucks create a uh, uh third brake light so i'm pretty pleased Looks good, don't it, Brian? It does. It does. Cool. So it's going to be a third brake light and a um, reverse light. Yeah. Looks good. And it's more aerodynamic than my four foot screen in the back that says that thing stop. <laughs> That's a point there. It really does. But yeah, I mean, do they really need to continue on that good for this video? I think they're good. Yeah. So yeah, that'll be it. Um, literally, the only thing we need to do is get some nuts and um, bolts and it's done. And we're literally going to pull this out because we need to finish doing sanding. We figure I'm trying to get mix up the videos for you guys so there can be uh, something besides sanding. So doing little small projects like this, getting it figured out. Yeah. All right, stay, um, thank you guys for watching these videos. Uh, like, the, uh, like the videos, comment down below, let us know what you think, and hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. And don't forget, we do have links to all the tools that we use in the garage. So um, hit them up, get, get some of the stuff you guys need if you guys are planning to build. Uh, a lot of this stuff comes in handy, so. Thank you. Anything for the people, Brian? No. Nah. All right. Have a good one. Peace.